Hello again. Welcome to this new tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to emulate HDR effect, in only a few seconds. At the end of the tutorial, you will get a PSD file. And once you update your image, the whole effect will be applied in a few seconds. Please like the video, and let's get started. Step 1. Create the HDR effect. Let's start by creating a new document. Use any values in both width and heights, in between 1000 to 4000 pixels. Also, change resolution to 300 pixels per inch. In my case, I will create a document, 2500 pixels, by 2000 pixels. Also, make sure that color mode is RGB. Then click Create. Now, let's import our image. From File, choose Place Embedded and double-click your image to import it. Now, adjust your image size as you like. After adjusting your image size and position, please go and pick the rectangular marquee tool. Select your whole canvas like this. Now, select your image layer, then, press Ctrl plus J, to take your selection to a new layer. Keep the new layer, and delete the other two layers. Now, right-click your layer and choose, Convert to Smart Object. Change your layer name to Base. Now, select your layer, then press Ctrl plus J, and duplicate it twice. Rename this layer, HDR Base. Name the other layer, HDR. With the HDR layer selected, go and create an invert layer. Now, click on this little icon, to clip mask it. This way, the invert layer will be limited only to, the HDR layer. Now, with your layer selected, change blend mode to vivid light. Your final result should be something gray like this. Now, select your layer, then go to Filter, Blur, and choose Surface Blur. Change Radius to 25, and Threshold to 30. Then click OK. You should get something like this. Now, select the top layer, then hold Shift, and select the HDR base layer. Drag on this little icon, to make a group of them. Rename the group, HDR. With the group selected, change the blending mode to overlay. Now, let's see the before and after. That's great, let's move to the next step. Select the base layer, then press Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Drag it to the top of the Layers panel. Name it Tone. With this layer selected, go and create an Invert layer. Clip Mask it, to affect only the Tone layer. Create a Hue and Saturation layer, and also Clip Mask it. Drag the Saturation slider, all the way down to zero. You should get a something like this. Now, select the Tone layer, then go to Filter, Blur, and choose Gaussian Blur. Change Radius to 20 or 30 pixels. Then click OK. With the Tone layer selected, change Blend Mode to Overlay. This should add a tone like this, to your effect. Select the first layer, then hold Shift, and select the top layer, to select all three layers. Drag and drop to group them. Name the group, HDR Tone. Decrease the group opacity to 30%. That's great, let's move to the next step. Step 2. Add highlights and sharpness. Now, select the base layer, and press Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Name it Highlights.
please make sure that your background color is white like this. Now, with your layer selected, go to Filter, then choose Filter Gallery. Under Distort Folder, choose the Diffuse Glow Filter. As you can see, this filter adds white glow to the highlights areas. This will boost our image highlights a little bit. Graininess adds noise to your image. You can keep it zero. Change glow amount to four. Change the clear amount to a value above 17. Then click OK. Make a group from this layer. Name it, Highlights. Change the group opacity to 40%. That's great, let's move to the next step. Again, duplicate the base layer, using Ctrl plus J. Name it Sharpen. Drag the duplicated layer to the very top. Now, with your layer selected, go to Filter, and choose High Pass Filter. Change Radius Value to 2 pixels. Then click OK. Now, change your layer's blending mode, to Overlay, or, to a Linear Light, for more sharpening. In my case, I will keep an overlay. For more sharpening, you can duplicate that layer with Ctrl plus J. Now, group both layers. Name it Sharpen, and let's move to the final step. Final step. Adjustments and testing. Now, Let's add some adjustment layers. Select the top group, and go and create a selective color layer. Adjust white, neutrals, and black colors. Let's start by white color. Each color values, should depend on your image. So, keep testing your own values, until you get a good result. Now, let's add a Levels layer. Also, adjust the Levels sliders, depending on your image. Now, add a Vibrance layer. Increase both Vibrance and Saturation, to whatever values you like. With the top layer selected, hold Shift. Then select the third layer. Make a group of them, and name it, Adjustments. Now, let's see the before and after. That's great. Let's test our final mockup. Now, double-click your base layer's thumbnail, to open it. Now, we are inside our smart object. Once you import your image here, and save it, all smart layers will be updated, and the effect will be applied in no time. After importing your image, adjust its size and position like this. Now, press Ctrl plus S to update it. Get back to your main document. Hide the Adjustments group. Let's see the before and after. That's it. Please like the video, and subscribe for more free tutorials. And you can leave a comment below, if you need any help. Thanks for watching.